What is up, you guys? It is episode 9. And sorry for the inconvenience of last time. We didn't get my mic level checked. Now we all good. It was kind of just, it was a warm up. It was us uh, testing the waters of the new setup. And now the waters are tested. Now the waters are perfectly even. Yeah. But sick shout out, dude. Um, Going into the next round. Clout check. Let's lighten the mood. What you so, got? So, uh, this Thursday, I am going to acquire a pair of my pair of those Nike Supreme shoes. Bro, that and was your clout check for last episode. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. I'm not finished. Oh. Thanks for the, uh, jumping into the conclusion. But, I am going for that, uh, that step stool. You're yep. going for the three hundred dollar step yep. stool. Yep. Is a single step. Exactly. It's just one step. <laughs> I need to be a step higher than all the haters. Step above the haters. That'd be tight. Um, if it said it on the step stool, like if they had that on the step stool, like a little quote, little quote moment, that'd be tight. But they don't. Oh well. Hmm. Quote. Um. Moment. My thing for this week is uh i don't really know when they're releasing but those acronym uh nike air prestos the like high top air prestos that were like the wild colors they have like kind of like a digital camo like if you know the air prestos they have like the um i don't know the hard plastic like claws that go up each side mm -hmm. and then so the acronym ones have like digital camo on that and then they're like wild colors like i showed you them one, there's like a pink colorway, there's like a yellow colorway, and there's like a black and white colorway. It's pretty fire. So I'm probably going to – no, I probably won't go for those when they come out. But they're fire, and you should go for them if you have the uh, appropriate funds. Mine are lacking right now. That's why I'm not going to go I, for uh, them. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what you, you're talking about. Bro. But. Keep them entertained. I will show you. But the shoe that I keep on thinking about is the 70s, 80s, and 90s Kyrie. Those shoes are pretty cool. Dude, they went on sale today. The Decades oh. Pack, they dropped a little 100. Oh. If you want to pick them up. Um, yeah, those Ky Kyrie's been killing it lately. Uh, the Kyrie shoes, for m my liking, I they're just nice to look at. Um, these ones, boy. Yeah, that's the pink. That's the pink boy. Yeah, I like the like pink one. A digital glitch. It, it makes me think of uh, <sighs> like bubble gum. Yeah, those are pretty tight with the blue, and then there's like a yellow one, and then there's like just kind of like a normal black. The one. yellow one makes me think of Ken Block and Mountain Dew. Ken Block? Yeah. Why does it make you think of Ken Block? Uh, just oh, just Hoonigan? Because yeah, Hoonigan's yeah. that kind of color, well, isn't like, it? Well, like look at that colorway. It's like black, yellow, gray, and like some. Uh, Gatorade yellow. Yeah. Ken Block. Okay. <laughs> Ken Block, if you're listening to this, Shots that's fired. you. If you were a color, you'd be that. Um. Anyway, Shots do fired. you eat ass? It is 2018. Who doesn't? Well, a lot of people don't. That's why I'm asking you if you do. I mean, I know I do. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any experiences you can share with us? Like what it feels like? Um, well, what's kind of going through your head? Do you like it or do you just do it for her? Nah, man. You got to do that for like the both of you. Like, you got to do it for yourself. If, you gotta, if you're going to experience something amazing, you got to do it for the both of you. You got to find a way to appreciate because, it for yourself. Because like one thing about a uh, something like that that's going on, when coitus is going on, that's two souls bonding. I mean, whether they're wasted and they're just, you know, chopping, or if it's like a couple making love, or if it's just two teenagers oh. who are letting their hormones do the talking, it's two souls coming together. Either way. So that's why you do it? You feel a spiritual connection down there? No, it's not a spiritual connection. I'm just saying, like, it's... It's a moment that you 
you two are sharing with each other, like, go all. Right, but why not? Go sh- all. Why not share that moment on the other side? Because you're right there. You're doing both. So like you're, you're work, going back and forth. You're, you're working, going in and out. I'm, look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> I'm not saying like you know when they go down, that's that's the first spot you go because nine out of ten times you're gonna get the hey whoa whoa. It's a little now, too aggressive. Now see if you like work yourself into it, you know, you go down the waterfall a couple times, and you make sure she that that faucet's turned on all right you know you got to make sure that that faucet's turned on and fully flowing and when you're working that that uh that faucet you're gonna want to like splash the back (laughs) this imagery is beautiful. like in in between in between the faucets in between the the faucet give it a little splash give it a little splash to the garbage dispenser it's not a garbage dispenser. <laughs> I was just, I was just following. Like, I was just, like, I was just continuing with your, your sink and kitchenware metaphor, and just like after the faucet is the is the garbage dispenser. Well, it depends on what sink I'm talking about. Oh, you're talk, you're talking about like the washing sink. Yeah, I'm just talking about a regular not the regular sink. sink. Okay, so that's the drain pipe then. Yeah, it's just the regular drain pipe. All right. So, like, I'm just saying, you splash back there. You don't go full on back there unless, like, unless she's into, like, that. Right. Then you go into the, that Super Saiyan. Don't put your hand down it unless you know it's safe. Also, also. I'm out of carrots. Don't go full tongue in the butthole. That's a no-go. Why is that a no-go? See, I'm asking you just because I've never done it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to form my own opinions here. Look, you grab a butt cheek. Like what, you're just grabbing, a singular hold on, butt hold cheek. On. You grab a butt cheek. All right, you grab a butt cheek. You bite it a couple times like a burger. All mm. right, and then the other butt cheek, you give that one a slap. Go over there. All right, <laughs> get a couple, couple <laughs> bites off of that cheek. Okay. And then you know. You work your way to the faucet, and then you give it a little splashback with the nose, and then you know, let that shit bang. Okay. Bra 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 bra. Let it is, bang. Is that what she sounds like when 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 you do it right? Just bra, bra bra. No, that's that's the neighbors knocking on the wall. Oh, because you're saying, too loud. Saying chill out. Because your girl's so pleasured at this point. No, because it's it's going on for too many hours. And it's like two in the morning. Okay. I'm going to give you my whole thing. I've never even done it, but I have an opinion on it. I It's kind of like a black hole to me. Like, I don't know what's in there. Science, science doesn't know what's in there. So, like, my whole thing is, unless... Like I'll eat, I'll eat, I'll eat porn star ass. That's what I'll do. And like I'm not saying I'll only eat a porn star's ass. I'm just saying she has to be as clean and groomed as like an A-list porn star for me right, to eat her ass. Right, right. I'm not, I'm not. Hey man, I'm not going back <laughs> there into like the trenches. All right, it. It's always taken care of. So it's only after like a good shower. It's always clean. Okay. But like how how clean are we talking? Like Like what if what if you guys both didn't do any like, manual labor? Like fresh baby wipe clean. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess that'd be a, I don't know. Cuz even still that's just the surface. Like for me I'd need like a like deeper I said cleaning. you're not you're not putting your your tongue into the un like full on unholiness, all right? You're just going you, Think of it as a sponge bath. Your your tongue's just kind of flapping around back there, you know, just just hey, patting different places. Just patting different just spaces. Just getting a little places. Sometimes you got to do a little wax on, wax off. And so then, you're just you're just slowly getting individual parts wet. You're just slowly dapping up little parts yep. until the whole thing has been thoroughly and cleaned. Either that or, you know, you <laughs> 
<laughs> you you do a couple of uh, Krabby Patty bites into that booty. I'm just telling you how it is. All right, I respect that. I still uh, I just don't know what's going on in there. I guess it's a case by case basis. If I had a girlfriend, I'd definitely like consider it. Or if I had a partner that I would like, I had a long time partner. I think it'd be a lot easier for me. Nice switch up. I think it'd be a lot easier for me to do it. You know, but if I was just like bagging some random and she was like, go deeper. Like I was, I was in the front and she was like, why don't you turn me over? I'd be like, "Ah." no, like, what are you going to do if she's all like, do you eat ass? Are you going to be like, no, I'm going to be like. What happens ha- <laughs> what happens happens and then I don't think it would happen with a with just a random chick unless she looked super clean. All right. Like what if I met her at a day spa? Then I'd be like she just got if I met her at a Brazilian wax center and she had just had an appointment, I'd be like, "Yo, let's go back to my place. I'll eat every inch of your body." But if I meet her at a Walmart in the in the dairy aisle, I'm I'm thinking, maybe you should take a shower. Well, obviously, if she's in the dairy aisle, she's not lactose intolerant. So, her stomach isn't going to get all fucked like your stomach does. No, but I'm just saying dairy's kind of like a, dairy's kind of like a suspicious food. What? It not gives even, you like, <laughs> not even, I'll it tell gives you, you like a suspicious, weird things. a suspicious food is someone grabbing fish sticks okay if i'm if i if i meet a girl at walmart in the frozen food aisle i'm not eating her ass i mean unless she's a dime piece the whole thing is unless there's always an unless um so so the point is i'm down to do it i just haven't met the right girls i I just haven't met the right ass okay you know okay that's where i'm at so you haven't met an ass that shook you enough where you're all like I need to do I I just to I this. need to, I need to bite it. I need to like worship the booty, praise the booty, kiss the booty, eat the booty. Right. I think it should happen naturally. Like if some girl asked me to eat her ass, I'm going to oh, be no like Oh, girl's going to ask you, dude. Oh, really? No, like dude, I just told you. I fucking told you. Oh, okay, you okay. I didn't know. It. Okay, I didn't know if you guys had a t- t- talk beforehand no, and she was like, "I want no, you to end no, up back there, bro, but bro, don't start there." Bro. <laughs> but bro, end up there. Bro, girls are not like us where it's where we could just be like, "Bro, you eat ass." And it's all like, "What? No." Or like, "But oh, girls yeah. definitely have this conversation with their girlfriends and they're like, "Do you let dudes eat your ass?" And they yeah, probably say what you're saying. They're like, if it happens, it happens. If he works it right, he'll get it. Exactly. And that's okay. all about it. It's like, a prize. You have to work for it. Okay. Like, it's not, it's like not I said. It's not just a vagina. Like, you it's can't not just, just you go can't just straight. Eat it. Like, the booty hole, that's that's the new, <laughs> that's that new. The back hole's the new front hole. Exactly. Okay. The rear exit's the new main entrance. Well, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, uh, as far yeah. as eating goes, like, uh, yeah, it's as far as uh, like eating the booty, that's that's the line. Okay, so since so getting it in back there, uh, skirt, I'm I'm cool, I'm cool. I mean, that's interesting. So I mean, why wouldn't you do that? I mean, if she's down for it, is that it, just going like, too deep? Is that just your no, deep like, deep sea drilling at that point? You're no, like no, too close like, to the oil. You're no, too no, 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 no. It's not that. It's just like sometimes the booty hole hurts, hurts, hurts you. Yeah, like really. Sometimes it's too tight. It just chafes. It's just too tight, and it's just a like, eh. huh? And eh. it's all dry, and then like she's just like ah, and no, nobody has fun. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who do prefer that there are definitely people out there who do prefer that i'm I'm saying of the female oh yeah no i know two girls well, i don't know them anymore but in high school i knew two girls who notoriously were down so sick 
but you know, uh, <laughs> that's definitely the minority. So, um, since since we have a um, since you are our resident ass eater, I was gonna throw a couple throw a couple opinions at you, and you're gonna tell me if these are, are true or false. You feel me? I'm gonna give some so, other experiences. So I just like found this article of these dudes who gave their thoughts, and I want you to tell me if they're they're talk they're speaking truth. Or they speak in some some bullshit. Okay. Are you ready? Um, for the record, I want it to be known you would also eat the ass. You would you you would eat ass too. Oh yeah, but I just haven't. So I need I right. need you to let. Okay, right? I would. For the yeah, record. for sure. Yeah. Okay. No, there's nothing bad about it. I I'm not like I don't see a, a goddamn. Oh, box out. Oh, box out, bro. Box out, bitch. Box out. Yo, what's up? Box out with your cocks out here. Hey, we're partying. And the first chick I met tonight had a stinky tuna box. So I told her, I said, you gotta go to the shower and wash that shit and do a bump and then come find me later. And now I don't know if she's here, but my boy Adrian's here and he's gonna be uh, my girl tonight. I'm here for you. Uh, I don't know what we're interviewing about, but his hair is lovely. You ever been with a girl? Beautiful. Have you ever been with a girl who had a stinky vagina? <laughs> Duh. Like, come on. Stinky Fuck tuna me. box. Yeah, I mean, it's not your favorite, but you take what you get, right? I take what I get. Uh, actually, that's a bad that's a bad line to leave off on. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not because you like it, it's because she hates it. Wait, what? Vox out? Yeah. What are you here for? Vox out. Yo, yo, yo. First off, shout out to Little Podcast, Swaggy P and Scooby Senpai. Yo, it's Paper Chase from Denver, Colorado. Yo, we're the next thing out of Denver. If you disagree, come fuck me up right now. I dare you. For real. Come hit me. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, little podcast? This is Real Conscious Movement and telling you to stay conscious. Latest. Like, I don't see a, a goddamn thing that's wrong with it. Yeah, like yeah. people who don't eat ass are here and people who eat ass are here. I there's mean, just, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm not, I'm not trying to get all like, share the love you and, eat ass, you know? Share the love and experience. All right, ready? It's 2018. John said, it's not bad at all, but it's not about the taste. It's to satisfy the girl. I'm going to do it to her. There was a time when there was a time when I was eating the girl's ass and fingering her. She let it rain on me. So is it not about the taste? Well, I don't think really anything's about the taste. Even the front's not really about the taste. I'm not. Like I said, if she knows how to clean herself, there is not going to be a problem. Okay. But as far as that, do you like just do it to satisfy the girl or do you do it like kind of because you like to do it? Dude, I think it's I think it's a little bit of both. Cool. All right. All right. Word. Moving on. I had asked once and it's literally something I did on accident. I also made sure hygiene was A1. I can't have a black hole full of dirt. Okay. I think dirt's just a metaphor. I don't know. As yeah. long as it's clean, it's just like eating the other thing. It's tight, it tastes like skin, and there's no taste. Okay, wait. He said it tastes like skin and there's no taste. <laughs> there shouldn't be. So um, he, he said, I think what I, I take the most from this is he said he literally the first time he did it was on accident. How'd you like first get into the realm? How were you first initiated? Well, um, I think how every pr dude or woman gets introduced to it uh you know you're wiggling around your tongue and then sometimes you're getting too into it and you it go just, straight at head first and it just slips back there <laughs> just straight head first just whoops. both cheeks just plopped it all right all right not gonna appreciate that all right whoa this guy dre is dre is freaky he said make a fist then stick your t oh okay it's a he's he's making an example. I thought he was doing the make a fist then stick your tongue in the middle of your index finger. That's it. That's giving oral sex. Um if the lady's into it, I feel fine. So it's like super tight. <laughs> you can't get far. So even if you wanted to go all the way and you couldn't. Unless you had like a super strong tongue. I mean, we could go into that next part. The front, we can go into the front part. The front part's easier. I mean... I think I'm, it's a lot. I'm, I'm going to speak for the ladies. I'm, 
I'm sure the ladies are going to say, yeah, if guys don't eat out the cat, I mean, then they ain't fucking with us. Right, yeah, 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 that is a thing. A lot of girls will, like, not appreciate you if you don't appreciate them. I mean, Which you is got sexist. To. You got to. Why do you got to, like, though? That's, that's the best part. I mean, I'm okay, that's so it's like... That's the best part. I... Like I, I enjoy it. Like I, I, I like to do it. Like just for, not only for me, but like because it does help. Like it definitely helps. It's one of the things that works the best. But like, why, why do girls like? I don't know. We've kind of like evolved as a culture into a culture where like girls expect that. And I'm just like, why? Like this didn't happen like twenty, thirty years ago. Unless it did, and like our parents just didn't talk about it. But they were having crazy like oral sex back then but i don't think they were and like it's so like commonplace now that uh i don't know girls expect it and they get angry if you don't not angry but they'll like be like why won't well, you i'm not taking your dick they'll bring you up yeah yeah they'll say shit like that which i guess is fair it's fair that's about the same thing maybe even worse for them I mean, we're harboring sweat down there it's like an actual thing it's not tucked into their body it's just out there exposed to the elements I mean, so you know i mean eating the cat it's just like eating breakfast it's the best part <laughs> it's just like eating breakfast minus it's, the nutrients it's, it's the best part just it's the most important meal of the day huge disclaimer cat is not an adequate substitute for a breakfast breakfast is the most important meal of the day but it is a nice appetizer or in addition to breakfast so just keep that in mind. Um, anything else you'd like to add to this subject before we move on? I mean, I could go on and on about this subject. Like, it, it ain't nothing to me. We keep going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So on the interwebs, on the inter pages of Twitter, um, kind of trending right now, kind of like a hot topic, is this girl – who apparently no no you know what what you know what what i just got a new job yeah suck my dick and balls wait dude i'm like i'm your soon-to-be boss though wait you got this job right just watch your language okay just watch your language no fuck you Suck my dick and balls. <laughs> so apparently this girl um, on Twitter, she's Naomi. Um, and in all caps, she says, everyone shut the fuck. I would like to yell this, but these mics are pretty sensitive. She says, everyone shut the fuck up. I got accepted for a NASA internship and it got 3,500 likes, 130 retweets. I mean, and I'm sure this sc- screenshot is old because like now it's blown up even more. Um, and 158 comments. Um, and then some, like, dude, some random dude with, I, he just, um, comments on it, and he says, language. His name's Homer Hickam. Um, and it gets three likes and one comment, which is by Naomi. Um, so really goes unnoticed in the thread and unnoticed in the trending. Those Um, three likes were actually Naomi's parents and family members. (laughs) Yeah, they were like Naomi's, like, close support who like really pushed her to get the job and they're like yeah. fuck no we don't yeah. ruin this you stupid bitch yeah. um ah but anyway so then naomi responds to homer and she says suck my dick and balls i'm working at nasa <laughs> and then homer responds to her and he says uh and i am on the national space council that oversees nasa And um, the kind of running theory right now is she lost her internship. Though I I don't think it's confirmed. I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments below if she actually lost her internship. Um, Oh, shit. Homer released a statement. Okay, okay, okay. So he released a statement that was addressed to social media. He said, Recently, it was called to my attention on Twitter that someone was being hired at NASA and that they were using the F word in a tweet about it. I'm a Vietnam vet and not at all offended by that word. However, when I saw NASA and the word used together, it occurred to me that this young person might get in trouble if NASA saw it, so I tweeted to her one word, language, and intended to leave it at that. Soon her friends took umbrage and said a lot of unkind things, 
but long after I was gone as I immediately deleted my comments and blocked all concern. Later, I learned that she had lost her offer for an internship with NASA. This had n this I had nothing to do with, nor could I, since I did not hire and fire at the agency or have any say on employment whatsoever. As it turned out, it was due to NASA hashtagging her friends used... Oh, due to the NASA, NASA, has NASA hashtag her friends used that called the agency's attention to it after my comments were gone. So Homer's well. just a fucking faker, bro. Homer's not even real NASA, dude. He's not even OG NASA. Oh, that's a bummer. Seeing this first live, it's it's all a ruse. She did get fired, though. That's not a ruse. That kind of sucks. Imagine well, how pissed she is at Homer, though. Well, that's what you get for applying to a government job. Yeah, that's yeah, true. And then hashtag health care. There's job security. A good 401k. Fucking retirement and shit. But you know what? Them rules. You're basically a slave worker just like <laughs> being in the military. But as far as, like, government agencies go, like, working at NASA would be dope. Like, it's not working for the treasury where you're just fucking, like, I don't even know what treasury people do. Just wish they I mean, were dead all day. <sighs> just, ugh, fuck. Another day at the treasury. Yeah, I mean, at checks. NASA, they're just all like, oh, shit, aliens. Oh, shit, we're smarter than you. Don't Snapchat that. Oh, physics. Yeah. Bro, don't Snapchat that. Those are real fucking aliens. They're but, trying to kill us. But this is crazy. So, like, first of all, she needs better friends because they hashtagged NASA <laughs> for her. If you're going to, like, talk mad shit about someone, like, I don't get how she thought that was a good idea. I mean, she probably didn't think it was going to blow up like it did. So it's you know, the internet. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what's going to blow up and what isn't. So hindsight's always twenty twenty. I'm sure Naomi is now like... Well, I really wish I didn't tweet that. But if she had tweeted it and it had gotten, like, five likes and, like, three retweets, she would have been like, ha, 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 that was quirky. And she would have started her first day at NASA yeah. and everything would have been fine. Yeah, if she would have kept it on, like, Facebook, it would have probably been all right. Like a friends-only post? Yeah. Yeah, like, and not shared it to the world? But, like, Twitter, I feel like Twitter's just, like... Twitter's unrestricted. Twitter's the wild west of social media. Yeah. There's just crazy shit on twitter like yeah. you can find anything you want twitter is the what's that rule on the internet for porn like rule 30 49 or whatever do you remember in like middle school and high school everyone would talk about like rule for it it's like ah fuck i forgot what it was but it was like whatever you think whatever you can imagine there's porn of there's a porn of like that's the rule and all i'm trying to say is like twitter is the rule 49 of the internet like, whatever you think is on the internet is on Twitter. <laughs> like, that's just what I'm getting at. Twitter is unrestricted, and uh, it's just... Twitter is the emancipated minor. Adjudicated minor? Emancipated. Emancipated minor of the internet. What, what do you mean by that? Like, emancipated minor is, like, someone who's under 18, who, like, gets emancipated. Yeah, I, so I know. Like I'm adult. emancipated. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just, like... Twitter's like, Twitter's like rule f rules free. It's for like young kids, but it's just like no rules. All right. That's just, it was like a little metaphor. Like a little. So, um, so she, yeah, she got fired. <laughs> that sucks. Um, Homer's kind of Loki a dick though, because after he said that, and I'm on the National Space Council that oversees NASA, I think Naomi probably shot her pants had a s small heart attack, had a small heart event. Um, yeah, but I'd be pissed. Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But then I don't know. I think they're both at fault. What we should learn from this is just shut up. Yeah. Just if you want to say something, say it to your, like say it to someone. I, I don't know. Don't put it out on the internet. Don't put, don't air your, that's not even dirty laundry, though. She just wanted... She just, like... Hmm. It's a weird situation, because I literally thought Homer was the reason she got fired, but he had nothing to do with it. Nope. It was all of her... It was all of her... Wacky friends. Her and her friends hashtagging NASA. Hey, guys, check out this sick tweet that got 4,000 likes. Hashtag. Hashtag NASA. At NASA. Hashtag. 
They probably added NASA. I bet like a thousand people in the comments added NASA. Um. Oh, wait. Okay. Have you ever fought it and it smelled like Wendy's chicken nuggets and a chocolate frosting? Okay, so Homer continues and he says, wait, what was that? Have you ever farted <laughs> and it smelled like Wendy's chicken nuggets and like if they're frosty? When I used to eat, yeah, at Wendy's. That's what comes out. If you put it in, it comes out. No, like, I, I just have those farts. Oh, that's just, like, your normal... It's just, I have those that's farts. That's the normal wind. Normal smells. All right. Of my bowels. All right, so Homer continues. She reached out to me with an unnecessary apology, with which I heartily accepted, and returned with my own. That's adorable. After talking to her, I am certain she deserves a position in the aerospace industry, and I am doing all I can to secure her one... That will be better than she lost. I have also talked to the folks that had to do with her internship and made absolutely certain that there will be no black mark on her record. So Loki Hickam, Homer Hickam's like Loki a G. And so it says, the article says it's unclear. He's looking out. Ooh, that's the loudest Gil has ever been on any podcast we've done. He's looking out. I'm proud. He, we got a spike. He spiked out. Um... Sorry for that. No, congratulations. I do that all the time. It feels good. I don't like it. <laughs> it's too loud. Um, the Twitter account Naomi H Official purported purportedly Naomi's n- new account posted a message on 23rd of August 2018 expressing hope that she might get her internship back. I think I might get my internship again. Thank you all for the support. That is a fairy tale ending well i mean if she gets it it's a fairy tale ending if she doesn't then at least she made a friend Mm -hmm. at least homer and her are tight now yeah homer sounds like it like homer sounds like he has pull he says i'm going to do all i can to secure her one that will be better than the job she lost like you don't you don't offer to secure someone a job that's better than a nasa job unless you got fucking connections Bro, ten bucks. He's actually just the janitor at that fucking place. He but he's at. like, <laughs> Homer. Here comes the janitor of NASA. Yeah. But like head janitor, he yeah. oversees all the other janitors. There's like yep. thousands of janitors. Yep. <laughs> so low key, he's like making more than like all of the internships combined. He's just like, look, I clean a lot of shitters. She took a big shit, and I want to clean this shit up. Give her, give her a spot back. That is beautiful. Um, we're we're kind of low on time here, but I just want to end by saying. I want to see. Fuck, I forgot her name. I want to see Naomi and Homer, really bonded out. I wanna, I wanna see their friendship flourish, and I hope she gets her job at NASA, and I hope Homer the C. CJO of NASA, the chief janitorial officer. Um, I hope um, both of them learn from this experience, not to just talk shit on the internet. Um, closing thoughts? I hope Naomi, right? Yeah, it's Naomi. I hope she flees the United States and joins a different country's <laughs> military unit and works for them and does cool, crazy stuff for them. Yeah, you know, both sides of the quarter, you know, (laughs) but at the end of the day, we both agree that she should be working for a space agency, and that's really all that matters. She's going to get a job. Mm Mm-hmm. Whether it's with Mossad, whether it's with KGB, if that still exists, I don't know, the Iranian Space Force. She could get a job with Space Force. Whoa, I was, I I wasn't talking about like that, I was just... Like, maybe no. maybe she leaves the United States, goes to the United Kingdom, you know, places where it's, like, civil. I wasn't talking about, like, she goes and joins, like, in a bad guy but place. You, the Space Force is our place, though. It's a good guy place. Yeah, but, like, Space Force... That Space Force is actually for only people who eat Doritos and drink Mountain Dew. And Doritos are fire. Dew. But if you drink Mountain Dew and play Call of Duty while eating Doritos, you're a fucking dick face. No, actually, you're probably MLG quality. You know, 
I've heard it both ways. Anyway, guys, that is the end of episode, was it nine? Nine. Nine? All right. Nine. This will be up on Friday. 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 And for our YouTube right now, we actually have a special re- report coming at you guys. Um, we uh, It's a promotional little skit that we threw together from a, uh, a local group out here in the Denver, Colorado area. A group that goes by Box Out. You guys can follow them on Instagram, and uh, can you follow them on Twitter? Uh, I yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Facebook, Vox Out. We'll talk about Vox Out a little more next episode because um, they got good shit. But that video will be coming up right about now, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. (laughs) Okay, guys. Peace out. We'll just have it up next. Laters.